I will show you us how to deploy a .NET application to Azure App Service from Source Control. From Azure Portal, I will click on Create New Resource and I will select Web App or search for it from the Marketplace. I will type in Web App and select the first option that satisfies me. I can get more information about Web App by reading the information. I will click on Create and select the subscription I would like to use. Then I will select the resource group. Actually, I'll create a new one for this. I'll call it hello.net and then I'll give my app service a name, which must be globally unique. I have the option of deploying code or use Docker containers for my deployment. I have the option of many languages and frameworks from .NET to Ruby, Java, PHP, and even JavaScript. Docker container supports Linux and Windows and I can put them in the over 50 regions available in Azure. I'll select code and .NET 5 and like to put my application in UK West. And then I will select the app service plan I'll like to use. I think I'll create a new one for this. Still call it hello.net and then change the pricing plan. Now I am running on Windows. The price is a little bit more compared to Linux plans. Wait for that to load up. And then I see the various pricing options available for me. I'll go over to the dev test area and see the B1 plan. That costs about $60 a month. Isolated costs way higher. Production costs also go way higher. I think that price is not comfortable by me. So I'll select Linux, which is actually way cheaper. I'll change the size for my pricing plan and see the difference it makes. I'll go over to dev tests. I think the B1 plan in Linux costs me about just $13 a month. I think I like that. I can see more information about it and apply. I'll skip the rest of the process for deployment because it's still in preview. I'll click on review and create and this gives me the information about my selection and I verify if it's really what I want before I go on to click on create. When I click on create, the app service plan is generated for me and then it creates my app service, which is a web application and puts it inside the app service and does all the configuration for me behind the scenes. This take a couple of seconds and then I should see that my deployment is ongoing and in a few seconds, the deployment will show me it is successful. And there it is. I click on go to resource to see information about my newly generated web application. It gives me the URL that ends in .azurewebsite.net. If I click on that, I will see the bootstrapped website that was generated for me. Ta-da! Now, I can go back into Azure. I have an app I would like to deploy for this. So, I will go over back into Azure and go to the deployment center. I'll select GitHub. I'm connected to it already, to my GitHub account. I'll click on continue from there and select app service build. I'll select my GitHub organization, the repository I would like to use. I have it in GitHub already, it's called hello.net.web. I can search for that and select. And then I'll select the branch I would like to build and then I click on continue. I also click on finish to finish setting the deployment up. Build is successful and then I see my deployed application right now. Let me make an update. Successfully push code to GitHub now and a new build has been scheduled for me. Build will now be successful and then I will be able to see the new version of my application running.